This higher tier section is about radioactivity. Radioactive decay is the random process that takes place in the nuclei of certain elements. This results in the emission of three main types of radiation – alpha particles, beta particles and gamma rays. Different radioactive elements decay at different rates. This fact can be exploited when using radioactive materials safely in hospitals. The hospital can use these radioactive materials safely because they don't stay strongly radioactive for long. The technetium injection will only produce strong radiation for a few hours, just long enough to do the bone scan. But the molybdenum generator which made it will last for about a week, long enough to make lots of injections. If I'd been holding this amount of molybdenum perhaps six months ago, it would have been extremely dangerous for me. However, in that six months, it's decayed away and I can safely hold it. On average, different radioactive elements take different times to decay. Looking at an individual atom, it's completely impossible to tell when it's going to pop. It could happen in the next few seconds. It might take a million years. There's absolutely no way of knowing. But when you look at a large number of atoms altogether, it's clear that on average, some radioactive materials decay much faster than others. The average time it takes half the atoms in a large sample to decay is called the half-life. It takes more than 24,000 years for half a sample of plutonium to decay, but the half-life of other elements is measured in minutes or seconds, so their radioactivity disappears much more quickly. For this reason, radioactive elements with long half-lives tend to be more dangerous than those with short half-lives. The clip mentioned the half-life of the radioactive material. The half-life of radioactive material is the time it takes for half the nuclei present to decay. The half-life of technetium is six hours, so after six hours, half the nuclei have decayed. After another six hours, another half have decayed, and so on. Radioactive materials have half-lives ranging from a few seconds to millions of years. That's the end of the whole higher tier physics block.